In this video, we'll be graphing some more exponential functions. We're asked to graph these functions on the same graph. The first one that we'll be graphing is y equal 1 half raised to the x power. Now I'm going to let x be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So uh, when x is negative 2, we have 1 half raised to the negative 2 power. Now the negative on this exponent makes this become the reciprocal. So this is actually 2 raised to the second power, which is 4. When x is negative 1, we have 1 half raised to the negative 1. So again, the negative on this exponent makes this become 2 over 1, or 2, so we have just 2 to the first power. When x is 0, we have 1 half raised to the 0 power, and anything to the 0 power is 1. When x is 1, we have 1 half raised to the 1, which is just 1 half. And when x is 2, we have 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth. Now let's plot these points. When x is negative 2, y is 4. When x is negative 1, y is 2. When x is 0, y is 1. When x is 1, y is 1 half. And when x is 2, y is 1 fourth. So our exponential curve looks like this. We do again have an asymptote at the x-axis. And the reason for that is because uh, it doesn't matter what power you raise a base to. Uh, as long as that base is a, a positive number, you'll never get zero on that. So our graph will never um, cross the x-axis. Our next one that we'll be graphing is y equal one-third raised to the x power. So um, again, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Uh, 1 third raised to the oops, negative 2 power. Um, that gives us a reciprocal, so we're actually doing 3 to the second power, which is 9. Um, 1 third raised to the negative 1 is 3, 1 third raised to the 0, anything to the 0 is 1, 1 third to the 1 power is 1 third, and 1 third to the second power is 1 ninth. So let's plot these points. When x is negative 2, y is 9, so that's off the graph. Uh, when x is negative 1, y is 3. When x is 0, y is 1. So that point is shared with the first one we graphed. When x is 1, y is 1 third. 1 third is smaller than 1 half, so it's going to be between the x-axis and the orange curve here. And then when x is 2, y is 1 ninth and 1 ninth is smaller than 1 fourth, so again that's going to be squeezed in between the orange graph and the x-axis. So my uh, y equal 1 third to the x graph looks like this. Whoops. And then let's graph uh, y equal 1 fifth to the x. Again, we'll go negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Um, 
when x is negative 2, we have 1 fifth to the negative 2. So that is the negative makes that 5, and then squared is 25. That's going to be way off the graph. When x is negative 1, we have 1 fifth to the negative 1. So that negative makes that 5. When x is 0, we have 1 fifth to the 0, which is always 1. When x is 1, we have 1 fifth to the first power, which is 1 fifth. And when x is 2, we have 1 fifth squared, which is 1 25th, very small. Right. This one's going to be off the graph. 25 is way up there. When x is negative 1, we have 5. When x is 0, y is 1. When x is 1, we have 1 fifth, which is even smaller than 1 third, so it's squeezed in between there. And when x is 2, y is 1 25th, which is even smaller than 1 9th. So our curve is going to be closer to the y-axis here on the left side of the y-axis. It's going to cross when x equals 0, y equals 1. And then on the right side of the y-axis, it's going to be between the other curves and the x-axis. So all of these graphs, when we have a fractional base, um, are decreasing curves. They all cross the y-axis at y equal 1. As the base gets smaller, notice 1 fifth is smaller than 1 half. As the base gets smaller, the left side gets closer to the y-axis, and the right side gets closer to the x-axis.